Hey guys, it's Hannah and welcome back to the Dyslexic Reader and today it is so exciting because I'm finally filming my Newt's Read Along TBR. If you don't know what this is, it's like the Newt's from Harry Potter which are like the A-levels and I think it was April. Uh, we had the Owls Readathon and now we have the Newt's Readathon. So I'm going to link all the information down below if you're interested in joining us. It runs the whole month of August and I can tell you from experiencing the Owls that it is super fun. So how this readathon works is if you've participated in the Owls you can only continue on subjects that you passed in your Owls. I passed all 12 subjects so that hasn't really been a restriction but I've picked the five subjects that I want to continue on to Newt's and in this round of the readathon you have to read three books for each subject and then however many books you read that is your grade. So uh, your first book is for A, acceptable, your second book is for E, exceeds expectations and your third book is for O, outstanding. So if you only read one book per subject you'll get an A, an acceptable. Now you cannot read just the exceeds expectations book and get an exceeds expectation, you have to read the acceptable book but it doesn't matter what order you read them in as long as you read both and I hope that's clear. So there's going to be a lot of books here so I'm just going to jump in. I'm not going to really give you much about the synopsis. Also check out my Booktubeathon TBR that starts on Monday the 30th and a lot of these obviously overlap because that runs for the week and then if you only had three weeks to do your newts there's no way <laughs> you, you would get it done. So I'm going to go through each subject and give you my acceptable, my exceeds expectations and my outstanding reads. My first subject is Arithmancy and to achieve an A in this subject you need to read a book with less than 300 pages and I have chose The Tinderbox by Han Christian Andersen and this is just one of the Penguin mini classics. I watched a TV, like a movie version of this as a child and really enjoyed it but I have not ever read the text so I'm interested to see how this marries up. To achieve an E in Arithmancy you have to read a book with an even amount of pages and for that I have chosen Children of the Lamp. I don't really know much about this apart from it fulfills Beautiful Spine for the book Tubathon and it has, let's see how many pages it has, 374. So this fulfills that one. And to finally achieve your O in Arithmancy, you must read a book that is not the first in a series. It could be the second, third, whatever. And I am reading The City of Fallen Angels and this is the fourth in the Shadowhunter series. I started this series in April during the Isles, so it just feels appropriate that I keep reading about one a month and to keep that going and to use it towards an outstanding in one of my newts. The second subject I'm going to be tackling is Herbology and to get an A in Herbology you have to read a book with green on the cover and I am going to read Shade Those Laurels by Cecil Connolly and Peter Levi. This is like a murder mystery that was serialised by Cyril Connolly in the Encounter magazine but Cyril died and Peter went back and found the original and he finished the story himself and actually solved the murder so I'm interested to see whether I came to the same conclusion as him and how the writing styles marry up. To achieve an E in Herbology you have to read a book with illustrations and for that I'm using The Seekers of the Weird. This is a graphic novel based um, kind of loosely on the Museum of the Weird which was originally meant to be part of the Haunted Mansion in the Magic Kingdom and this is kind of a series that was put together about the Seekers of the Weird who would have found all those weird artifacts and there is even um, concept art for the original Haunted Mansion in the back and I have read this before this is a reread for me but the first time I was so excited I flew through it a couple of years ago and I don't actually remember much so I'm looking forward to delving back into this world. And finally to achieve an O in Herbology you must read a book with light, air, sun or water in the title which is I think quite open although I find it hard but I went to the library and I found this cute little book called First Light. So we have light in the title and this seems to be about a young boy who goes with an expedition with his parents who are scientists to the Antarctic. I think that's what it's about but I'll be interested to see this and it just looks fun and cute and I'm a weirdo who likes when it's warm to read books about cold places and vice versa so I feel like to me this is a very summery read. 
Transfiguration. For an A we have to read a book with grey on the colour and I have picked The Last Block in Harlem by Christopher Hertz and this seems to be quite literary fiction and it's just about a man who sits on his fire escape from his apartment in Harlem and kind of just observes the goings on and I think it could be really really interesting. For an E in Transfiguration you must read a new author to you so it doesn't have to be an author who's just published their first book or anything just an author that you've never read anything by them before and I have picked The Girl Earring by Tracy Chevalier. I have never read any of Tracy Chevalier's work. I've heard amazing things. Hannah Hannah Tay. This is like one of her favourite books of all time and if she recommends it I can give it a go even if I'm not big into historical fiction. Finally for an outstanding in Transfiguration you must read a book about royals or kingdoms and I have chosen The Happy Prince by Oscar Wilde and this is kind of like it's well it's in my children's classics collection so I'm guessing it is um, a children's book. I The only thing I've ever read by Oscar Wilde is a picture of Dorian Gray. I've never read any of his poetry or anything so I'm interested to see how his writing translates into children's work. My fourth subject that I'm going to tackle is Care of Magical Creatures and to get my acceptable in that I must read a book with an animal on the cover. These are all very tied into our subjects I guess and I picked Jaws. I'm reading this for Big Tribathon 2 and we have a nice big shark on the cover there and I'm sure I don't have to tell anyone what this is about. For an E in Care of Magical Creatures you have to read a book that's under 160 pages. So a little short one because Hagrid wouldn't expect anyone to read long books. I think that's the thing going behind this one. And I have picked The Life Sentence by Andy Christofides. That is an awkward surname if ever I've seen one. And this is just a little short book about John 3.16 which is probably one of the most well known verses in the Bible. And this whole little book is just kind of delving into it. And I think it'll be really interesting to see the different takes that can be put on such a short and well-known verse to see if there's a different spin on it. And to get an O in Care of Magical Creatures we have to read about Hagrid's favourite animals which of course is dragons and I have picked up the graphic novel of The Hobbit. I'm trying to keep these books short. I have some longer ones so I'm trying to balance it out. I read The Hobbit recently for the first time ever. I'm so proud of myself. I read the whole Lord of the Rings series but I don't think that I could tackle it again so soon after. So I went with my graphic novel version which I absolutely love which is original from the 80s. I've had it since I was a child and the artwork in this is just beautiful and I have so many happy memories reading this with my dad and I can't wait to actually sit through and read it from cover to cover again. And my final subject is divination and who knows which of these books I'm going to get onto but I wanted to plan for five because I feel like that was loud. <laughs> I feel like 12 if I'd done the four subjects is manageable and I didn't want to exceed that especially with the book Tubathon. I'm going to try and read a lot at the start of the month so I wanted to give myself 15 so that I wouldn't run out of books but who knows. So for definition for the for to achieve an A you have to read about a book that is set in the future. I found this at the library. It's called Space Runners. It's about children from Earth who are taken to the moon and then they have to fight aliens I think but it is set on the earth in the year 2085. So pretty sure this counts as set in the future. To achieve an E in divination we have to read a book that's under 200 pages and I picked this little one up at the library and um, I was just looking for a short book basically to fulfill this but I really like Marco, Michael Marpergo as an author but I have not read many of his books. I normally tend to read his longer middle grade books. But this is just a little short picture book called The Castle in the Field and it's just um, a very cute little kid's story so I didn't really want to know too much about it because I just hope to sit down and fly through this one and hopefully enjoy it. And our final book. Thank you guys for sticking through this with me but to achieve an outstanding in my divination you have to read a book about mythology and I am going to pick Percy Jackson and The Sea of Monsters. I'm rereading the Percy Jackson series. I think I maybe reread the first one for The Isles back in April so again continuing on the series kind of theme. But um, yeah I'm just slowly making my way through these as I fancy them reading them again. I really enjoyed them the first time I read them a couple of years ago and when I read them the first time Sea of Monsters was my favourite out of the five books. 
so it'll be interesting to see if it remains a favourite this time around. Okay everybody that is all 15 books for the new readathon 2018. I am so excited. I know this is late going up but I haven't been well this week but I'm just busting to get it up before the week starts and if you have any plans let me know down below. Link your TBRs. I'm going to check everyone's out and I'll leave, as I say, all the information down below so you can check it out. The Twitter sprints and everything are great. It's really well put together. So if you're interested, oh, I would suggest giving it a go. Thank you for sticking to the end of this video. I hope you're happy. I hope you're healthy. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.